here with uh, Seminole head volleyball coach Chris Poole. Coach, it seems like it's been a long time since you guys have actually played here in Tallahassee, Tully Gym, after a four-week-long road trip. You're finally back, coming back to Tallahassee. How does it feel to actually play in front of your home crowd here come on Friday? You know, it's going to be great to get back home. It's very difficult to take a team out on the road, and every Wednesday night you're having to repack and, and get ready to go on the road again on Thursday. And that's hard on the coaching staff, but it's very difficult on student athletes that have, you know, they're trying to keep up their grades. They're trying to focus on what we want them to do during practice. So it's going to be nice to be back home. We hope the, the fans will take advantage of it. And we're going to try to go out and, and get us a couple wins this weekend. You're right in the thick of it with the ACC play. What's the difference coming from the SEC coming into the ACC to play in this kind of schedule? Well, one of the things that we do a little different in the ACC is, is you're, we're playing games back-to-back -back on nights. And in the SEC, you, you always have a day in between. You play a Friday-Sunday split, so you always have a travel day. And one thing that we've already realized is that second day, the team is much more fatigued. So we're going to really have to take that in consideration, realizing that we're not going to have a recovery time. You've got to be able to, even going out on the road, now you've got to be able to drive be able to, to, to be prepared to play that night. And that's a little different, so we're going to have to try to react to that a little quicker, and hopefully we can get the team built up to the point they'll get used to it. Coming off of two tough road losses, what are some things you want to see your girls bounce back from coming this Friday and Sunday as well here at Tully Gym? Well, one of the things that we've really focused on this week is is try to get the girls back in sync. We've this three weeks we've gone without having everybody in practice, and yesterday was the first time that we got everyone out there. So we're being able to kind of get our chemistry back a little bit, and that's going to be the most important thing of the weekend is get back in the sync, try to get the offense running again. It's it's been sputtering the last couple of weeks, but I think if we can get it cranked back up and we can just gain a little bit of confidence being at home and and just being able to rest a little bit more, I think that's going to help us get back in. Hey, you just mentioned this is the first uh, first week you actually have all your all your players back. Brianna Berry seemed to have a freak eye injury. Lauren Richardson and Ashley Moon as well. What do their returns really bring to this team? Well, that's three major players for us right now. And, and you know, we depend on their uh, consistency. We depend on their maturity, their experience. And so I think having them back out on the court again is going to be real big for us to, to – um, at the very least, kind of get ourselves back into uh, a rhythm again. You know, you get knocked off, you're trying to be successful, but you're, you keep getting beat up being out on the road, you're having to deal with sleeping in hotels. It's, it's tough. And so I think being back home, settling in, having them back out there and, and all of the team ready to go again, I think is going to help us. And finally, it's a non-football weekend here, and we really hope a lot of the fans come out on Friday and Sunday. What do you want the fans to be excited about, and what can they look forward to when they come see your volleyball team play this weekend? You know, this is a team that is trying to learn how to win the big games. And we've played some good matches this year. Uh, we've been knocked off stride a little bit. But at the same time, I think the fans can expect to see a team that's working hard and that's going to be very competitive. And Boston College and Maryland have been good teams in the past. It's conference play. You know, we really need the fans to come out and give us a lift. If we can get ourselves back into the game here the next couple of weekends while we're at home, it could put us back into the race again. Everyone's beating up each other in the conference, so there's no clear-cut winner out there right now, and this next couple of weeks is going to be crucial to trying to get ourselves back into the race. Coach, always a pleasure to see you. Best of luck this weekend and throughout the rest of your season. Thank you very much.